So this is the Synaptics uh, 3000 series um, sensor demonstrator. Um, the sensor is actually on top of an uh, OLED display. It gives you an idea of the optical uh, quality of you know, the touch sensor where it looks like there's no touch system involved. But as you can see right now, you've got a system that can uh, allow input up to uh, 10 fingers. In this case, I can pretty much get about four, five on the system here. And it can do unconstrained multi-finger tracking as shown by this demo here. And one other thing that it enables is to do multi-finger gestures like this crumple to get rid of something. I'll show Not you just that pinching, here. but crumpling. Yes, three-finger crumple. <laughs> and of course, you've got your venerable piano demo. There we go. And let's see, the ability to play multi-user games. Well, not doing too well here. So what? Come on, man, it's Pong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> me a couple tries here. So that would let two people play at once. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. All right. And of course, um, you can also introduce some, um, you know, gesturing, such as if you wanted to delete certain files, you may want to just erase by rubbing it out. Oh, yeah. So certainly some ideas that um, potentially, oops, I completely erased the screen. There we go. Some ideas that can be uh, done with new uh, user interfaces, and of course, uh, the opportunity to improve upon existing interfaces like the QWERTY keyboard. So here you can actually hold down the shift key to get a uh, shift to an uppercase or the alt. And the idea um, behind it, using multi-finger um, uh, tracking for uh, keyboards is that it will allow for faster keyboard input because oftentimes if you're typing really fast sometimes uh, your fingers will arrive simultaneously so this allows uh, the host processor to disambiguate um, between simultaneous touches.